as being one of the greatest novelists of all time, Catherine Patterson. Has written a lot of world best-selling series, such as *The Bridge to Terabithia*, and then *Jacob Have I Loved*, *The Great Gilly Hopkins*, and so much more. Today, we'll be looking into Catherine Patterson's life. Boom! Bugger the boom! Bugger the boom! Bugger the boom! Dark, 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 dark. Shion, dark shion. Dong, 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 dong. Dark shion, dark shion, dark shion. <clears throat> okay, we're on live. Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today we'll be talking about this offer called. Catherine Patterson. Now, who was Catherine Patterson? Well, let's look into her early life. Catherine Patterson was a little girl. Actually, let's go into the notes for this. The notes for this. Let me delete this app from the intro. Oh, and of course, we need to delete that. Okay. Okay. First of all, Catherine Patterson. Catherine Patterson was this little girl who was born in World War Two. Now, during World War Two, there was loads of difficulties. You know what the difficulties were? Now, this might be very hard to imagine, but there was absolutely no chocolate. No chocolate. Parents might be happy about it. Well, some parents, I guess. No potato chips. Of course, the potato chip wasn't even invented then, or well, didn't even exist. But however, if it was invented, it would be rationed. And so there were no candies. The only things that were available were coupon codes, were coupons, were coupons that can buy sausages with sawdust in its fillings, look, some meat that are just not pre-roasted, and even a lot of other food that are kind of yucky that is said to be today. Now these coupon codes. Now these coupon codes might be just not the type of thing. Might be just the type of thing for survival during the World War, but however, in a very yucky way. Yeah. Now, today, now she was born. She was born during World War Two. She was born during World War Two in China, the Turkey's country, the Turkey country, as I might say, because well, no, no, sorry, Chinese people. I mean, like this. First of all, there was a lot of things during the World War Two. She was born in a China missionary, right there, and then she came. And then she came to the United States during the World War Two. She came to the USA during World War Two, and there she graduated from a school in Virginia. She graduated from a school from Virginia, from the Virginia, and then she lived in Japan, the four islands, the Japan, the separate island country, for for about four years. For about four years. Today, today she is. Today she is in the state of Vermont. She's in the state of Vermont, where she lives with her husband. She lives with her husband and has four grown children. Four grown children. Yes, four grown children. Now all of this might be very hard to imagine during Catherine Patterson's time, but however, it was possible. Hey, gotcha. Now one of the greatest hits of uh, of Catherine Patterson's story books were *Bridge to Terabithia*, which was about two people, two people, the main character, the boy, this guy right here, who went on to adventures into a fake country. The fake country that they invented. The girl has a very wide imagination and knows too much about Moby Dick. If you ask me, uh, and also one of the things cool about this is that it won the Newbery Medal. Let me change color for this. Newbery Medal. There are some writings right here, right, right here, and yeah. And another one of these is that the Great Gilly Hopkins, the Great Gilly Hopkins, where instead, instead of that, she won the, she won one of the, the, the Newbery Honor, the Newbery Honor. And here's the people we're lecturing people, okay. Newbery Honor. This is my best way of drawing the Newbery Honor. This big, okay. 
And some of the others, no, not black, no, not black. Some of the other books that she ever wrote were also a parallel quest of the Grail Knight. I don't know what this guy might be doing, but however, I am saying that it probably by looks of it, looks of it, looks of it, it looks like this boy is going out into an adventure for somebody named the Grail Knight. Whoever the Grail Knight is. Right. And then here is in Liddy, who kind of looks like some, who looks kind of familiar. It looks like from the picture of the background and where she is and what she is holding, looks like she's a sewer. She's a sewer in the factories in the like the nineteen the nineteen fifties or something like that. And this is a penguin book, so yeah, this is from the middle of here. And then this is Jacob Have I Loved. It's about, I, for the looks of it, it looks like this girl is sailing to find someone called Jacob. I don't know if it's an animal. And then they are falling in love, falling in love. Yeah. And this one won a Newbery Medal. This one won a Newbery Medal. Yes, here's the Newbery Medal. Some of the inscriptions. Yeah. This is the Newbery Medal. Up uh, right here, inscriptions. Yeah. And just like the Bridge to Terabithia, I personally, this is one of my favorites, even so I, I say why is this my favorite is because the cover. I haven't read this, but still I say this is one of my favorites because of the, how the cover looks like. And this is, this is Catherine Patterson right now, right today. Now she's very old, of course she's old. It's like the 2021s, of course she's old. And then secondly, of course, and then secondly, she has a lot of, she has a lot of medals and she might have been very happy about everything that happened in her life. Her award-winning books of like the Bridge to Terabithia, the Bridge to Terabithia, or the Great Gilly Hopkins, or even, even, even the Jacob Have I Loved. These may all be her hits, and she is very happy of them. And she now has a husband. She now has a husband. Wrinkles. A cane. Just to show that he's old too. And they have four grown children. About 20, I guess. Some of them are supposed to be girls, I guess. And this is her family. This is her life. Her life was writing all these books, and her life was in the World War II, which was not an exciting time in history, but one of the greatest, greatest low-term times of history. And she did win a lot of medals. This one is about her winning a medal, and after about saying a speech, I guess, from the looks of it, and that she is one of the greatest novelists of all time. She's one of the greatest novelists and that she will never be forgotten in the world. Well, I guess she might be forgotten to the next millennia or something. Novelist. 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 She will be, she might never be forgotten in the next millennia or so, but we will always honor her for her books about children and about her award-winning books that will help children into their guiding pathway of the right parts, not the wrong parts. Got it. So that's why I admire Catherine Patterson so much. That's why I admire Catherine Patterson so much. She teaches children about which path to take, which path to go correctly, and to always go for the correct path in first terms. This is Catherine Patterson and her life. Junhan, out. So we know about Kevin Patterson. Today will be the end of this Dungeon episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Shanahan out. Peace. Bye.